All right, guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we'll be talking about how we almost messed up a hotel deal. Yes, so we're gonna explain, first of all, what a hotel deal is, how we got the deal, um, how we analyzed it, negotiated it, and what did we do wrong. A hotel deal means when you get a property that is pretty much retail ready that doesn't need any work or a little bit of work like maybe paint or just clean the carpet or something like that and then you end up selling that back on the market okay guys so this was a property we purchased in the Antioch area of Nashville uh, we purchased this on June 17th for 140 and again, my original thought of an ARV was 185, um, and we actually ended up selling it for 165. So there is a big gap, and there's a lot of lessons learned there. Um, this was a house from the exterior, um, two bedroom, two and a half bath, condo, townhome, pretty basic. I actually have some pictures here. So this was the exterior, um, kitchen area. So I mean, pretty basic house. It didn't need much. We didn't change a lot. Um, little patio, all all the appliance or um, all the systems were in good condition. Um, so honestly, all we really did was give it a fresh coat of paint and give it a deep, deep clean. So we purchased it, um, did all that in about a week, and then we listed it on the market. Let's see if it says here uh, we did it. On, we listed it on the market on June twenty second. So we. Purchased it on the 17th, listed it on the 22nd, so it went pretty quick. However, it set for on the market for quite some time, and we didn't even end up going under contract until August 12th. Um, so we actually had a lot of touches with the lady in order to get this under contract. Um, as you can see, so none of the leads are end up going really quick. Um, they're just going to take some time, and you just got to do your follow-ups. So things we underestimated on this deal, um, I'm not sure if it was because of Corona or maybe the neighborhood it or the time was. of year. Probably yeah, was it could have been a combination of all those things. But um, initially my ARV estimate was at 185000 mm -hmm. And when we put it out for that, it sat on the market for quite some time. Like we were getting showings, but no offers. Um, yeah, we were almost about, we were on, on the verge of actually renting out. Right. We had a couple of showings already for people who are really interested in they filled out a couple, couple of applications. However, we didn't really want to go that route because yeah. it was cash flowing, but not the cash flowing that we, that we really um, wanted. Really to. wanted. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and all the feedback from the other agents that showed the property, it was just like, it's a nice house, just not for my client. So I guess it just wasn't the right buyer either. But after it sat on the market for three weeks, we put down the price. Um, it still sat on the market. It wasn't getting, still getting showings and, you know, just no offers yet. So we decided to go really low at listed at 170 or 169.9 to get some traction. Um, and we decided to do professional pictures. The day we took it off the market to get professional pictures done, uh, we got two offers. And um, we ended up going, it was a cash offer and then a traditional offer. We ended up going with a traditional offer for 165, which was way below from what we wanted. Yeah. And uh, weirdly enough, the comp supported it. Um, it just, you know, at the time wasn't selling, I guess. Uh, but at this point we were like, you know what, let's just get it over with, get it done. I, we don't, didn't want to really keep it as a rental. No. Um, also the HOA fees on all that rental are, you know eat away your profit you gotta love hoas right you gotta love hoas <laughs> so we just decided you know what we're gonna go ahead take an l on this one and then continue pull our money back and continue on other flips the other issue we had was with the hoa so this was actually the first time we were buying an hoa associated property and we weren't really sure on what fees and you know how those things work so when we were closing i had additional costs that i didn't account for because of hoa fees um, so that was another bummer as well on my side. Yeah, as far as inspection report, I usually yeah. leave. I mean, people that follow me on my Instagram, I have some tips, a uh, little hack we use for inspection reports. Mm -hmm. I usually leave a couple of little things that uh, are easily repaired. And this yeah. way the, the home inspector has something to write about. 
unless they're going to start digging for stuff that's not even necessary. Right. So we fixed everything. And um, however, there was a door, the exterior door in the back that had some, um, I think, soft wood, some rotten wood on the bottom. Right. And they asked us to fix it or replace it. We replaced it. Um, however, the HOA came in and said we can't replace that door because it's not exactly the same. Right. So, so that's yeah. something to take in consideration, um, especially when, when you're fixing here. stuff and there's an HOA involved. On deals like this, or honestly any other deals that we do, we always make sure to have at least one additional exit strategy if something doesn't work out or we don't get mm -hmm. the price we wanted. In this particular property, uh, worst case scenario, we we're going to rent it out for a year and then try to sell it again. Um, however, you know, we decided it was just best to go ahead and sell it, you know, on that lower price and then just continue on with another deal. Or you can just move into the property if none of those <laughs> options work. Yes, that's also That's option. pretty common in, in young invest when you young investors yeah. start uh, start off. And there's nothing wrong with no. that. Uh, you know, if you need a new home to live in or you can house hack it maybe or even rent out the rooms, yeah. that works just fine. So when all was said and done on this property, we are making a whooping $3,000. That's it? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was more. No. Well, it was in between $3,000 and $5,000. We're actually closing on it on Monday. All right, guys. That's it for this episode. Today was a little different. We actually talked about some mistakes we made. However, we still made money off of yeah. this deal. But you know where you can find us on Instagram, Facebook. If you have any questions, let us know.